So dyslexia is a sound and language processing disorder. It's mostly visual and auditory. So I found classroomscreen.com for my friend Linda. Now, uh, the great thing about it is, is you can work on processing the sounds where the sound needs to be consistent, needs to be concise, and it means to be distinct. And I got everything here on my screen to make it persistent, precise, and distinct. So let me show you how to do it. We're gonna start with A, and we're gonna let the gauge go down to zero. Now I should hold a consistent sound. So let me do it again. It did on the gauge, didn't it? Okay, let me try it at a, a smart, less sensitive rate. Good, it stayed in 80 for a while. That's what we want. That means they probably process the sound instead of just hearing the sound like, ah. See how it jumped? Let me try to show you. Ah. That's not what we want. We want, want one consistent sound to get the time brain to process. Okay, let me show you my next slide. Uh, 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 If it's not consistent, the brain will go into disequilibrium with the sound. We want it not like ah. We want it. We don't want it like ah 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 ah. That's not consistent. So these cannot be held. I want to at least get to a hundred. Let me try. Good, now I know it was processed. It has to be harder, louder, faster for those that can't be held for better processing. Okay, it's the same sound. Good. Ooh, I didn't make a hundred on all the way up to hundred. That was my goal to, for better processing. Good. See? D. D. J. Y. Made it 200. Okay. Other letters? F. It's got to stay consistent. It's consistent numbers, what we're looking for, for those that can be held. Yep. Mm. Mm. 
问，困。Thank you.